What is going on guys? We're back with another video today and we are in our Chargers online user franchise. It is the playoffs. We're in the divisional. We're 16 and now going against, I believe, the 10 and 6 Titans. And this is going to be an interesting matchup. Both teams are actually very closely ranked in overalls. Uh, both teams have uh, their star players, obviously built a little bit differently, but obviously both teams very good. I think he is a, a what 95 overall, I almost said 80, uh, 95 overall. But we are at home, not that it matters in Madden, we're the last game to play. So we know who we're going to play if we win the game, which is uh, always cool to see. Like I said, 95 overall, so uh, the teams are very similar in overall ranking. Uh, obviously, he has, uh, I think, a power back, different players here and there, <laughs> unless it's a clone game. Uh, but he starts with the ball first, so I like to have the pressure off me, which is not what the case is for this game because the very first playoff game is always the most pressure filled for me so getting through it is very important because once we win that one game I just don't really care it's just like okay we won one game so I just don't want to go one and done that's all that matters even though we came off a Super Bowl win I wouldn't be that mad I don't think you guys would be that mad either if we we did take a, a week one uh, exit second and eight though after you know getting the ball there goes uh, Tyrell Williams who could be on his way out you never know uh, he's going to be, what, 30 soon? He's still going to have star dev, but 30 years old, ugh, it's a little rough. Look at the move by Melvin. He's going to be on his way out for sure soon. There's no question about it. Like with Tyrell, you can kind of get away with it, but running back, no, not a chance. There goes Melvin, speaking of running backs, and he's going. Uh, we'll definitely have him for another year, but after that, I don't know. His future is in jeopardy. Melvin in for the score. The very first score of the game is a touchdown. And guess who? It's us. Obviously, we were going to score the first score. What do you think this is? Uh, at least the first touchdown to the outside. Nice throw. Perfect timing from Andrew Luck. Here, we're going to see a run from David Johnson. He's going to cut it back left. Finds a little bit of room. Gains about 11. Starting to move down the field. Past midfield. Uh, second and eight after a short run. Crossing route over the middle. And they're well, not really a crossing route, but they ran across. I got Whatever. David Johnson for a first down here, running a, a drag, I would assume. Really weird tackle, kind of dragged him down, speaking of. Third and three from the 22-yard line. Good chance to get off the field if we can. Over the middle, there's really no one open. Throws it underneath. Smart read. I just, I try to use her as best as I can, but when there's no pressure, it's, it's not going to go super well. Another third and three. Looking for someone open. Not seeing it yet. And there goes a covered sack for Mr. Adamakong Su. I'd like to bring him back. Honestly, I would like to bring him back. Question is, will he regress super hard or will he retire? And Peoples-Jones, he's a deadly kick returner apparently at 89 speed. First and 10 from the 50. Got Hunter Henry on the slant. There's my man, my favorite guy to go to on that slant route. Everything else is basically useless, so that's what we go with. Over the middle, first and 10, lock it, just... He just straight up drops it. He, he straight up drops it. Uh, third and 12 now from the 35-yard line. Melvin up the middle. What a call. Huge hit. What a damn call. A 17-yard gain, I believe. We got a slant from the left, a streak from the left. What a timed throw. All the way down to the one. Tyrell so big and fast, but it still might be time to let him go. I, I don't know. Melvin Gordon gets stopped. I thought that was definitely going to be a score. We'll see how that, you know. Plays out. Second and goal. Can't get the ball away. Couldn't throw it away because obviously that would have been a grounding. So the same difference. Third and goal from the 12 now. And it's going to be way out. So we're going to have to kick a field goal. Didn't really mention it either. But uh, this is the Bosa battle, by the way. Nick versus Joey. So we'll see who's the better of the two after this one. And I'm not talking about who wins. I'm just talking about who does better, which I don't know. It could be Joey. So <laughs> well, well, hopefully... Hope we can win something if we don't win the game. Uh, and David Johnson, he's starting to get the ball quite a bit. Not running on the ground too well, but in the, the receiving game, looking pretty solid. And to the outside, first and five. What a damn catch. <laughs> that's that's quite the catch he got there. First and ten, David Johnson getting another handoff. There goes Moses, the youngster, really uh, developing into that brutal force in the middle. Brings him down for a minimal gain. Here comes a potential, another coverage sack. Got to bring him down. That's the difference between a field goal and a touchdown, in my opinion. 
Third and three, though. We'll see what he does. He's going to go with a pitch. Look at the users. Look at the users. Still the best user linebacker on the team, Jatavis Brown. Get to play. And here we are, up by four. Peoples Jones. He doesn't even look fast. Look at him. Look at him. He scores a kick return touchdown, though. What a great blocking job by the special teams. There was a hole for days. You could have probably ran Tom Brady up the damn middle there. First and 10. It looks like King's beat. I would have thrown the same ball, especially to Corey Davis. But King is just a beast. He locks everything down, slaps that thing right down to the ground, and, you know, back to another play. Second and 10. Slant from the tight end. Probably should have taken. He had him. Instead, we just read it like a book. I think he just kind of panicked because of the pass rush coming. That happens to me all the time. And he just threw it right to us. Moses got the hands. And speaking of hands, lock it. Even though he dropped one earlier, makes up for it. What a route. Great throw. And just like that, out of nowhere, we're up 24-6. to However, Corey Davis down the sideline to the 38-yard line. First uh, down and 10 from the 38. One minute left. Finds his man again. This time it's a different receiver, but he gets a big first down again. Second and six from the seven. Looking for the touchdown, and that's a huge hit. Almost tipped to Davis for the score. Third and six now from the seven. Andrew Luck to the outside. Honestly, I know our user was there. I would have taken up the middle if I was him. I would have, okay. I would have just taken the risk. Here goes Peoples Jones again. Look at the blocks, man. He's just, he's just a lucky charm. And, and I don't know, call it what you want. Looking for someone open. We gonna take a shot? Kinda, Melvin drops the ball. 16 seconds left, two timeouts. Gotta keep the attempts rolling here. Gonna take a shot deep. What a throw. Unfortunately, Adoree Jackson is all over that. It's a pick that I don't mind throwing. Maybe in the regular season, I'd be a little tilted, like a little eh. Could you just have swatted it? But no, it's that's not the case. Melvin cutting it back finding a lane, and getting a 20-yard gain. Everyone on offense is looking pretty damn good right now. Tyler Lockett is looking the best, though. No questions asked. The fastest man in the world gets the 55-yard touchdown. I'm not saying the game's over, but that is a really hard score to come back from. Huge hit, but he actually holds on there. Third and five now from about midfield. Gets the conversion. No, he doesn't. Moses comes up with the pick. And when you give up a bit of a cushion to us, that's usually when things get ugly. Obviously, that happens with a lot of players. But, oh, look at Eckler making a couple of players miss, doing his job as well. But if you give us an inch, we take a mile. We really do. And look at Eckler finding room, man. Lines doing it just enough. Obviously, we had to make the first man miss. Eckler, or not even Eckler, Gates gets the first down. That's all blocking right there. There's nothing else to say about it. But yeah, I mean, this defense is already hard enough to beat, but when when you have to become one-dimensional because of the clock and the score deficit, that's obviously when it becomes just too easy for us. And here goes Gates running in. Pretty much put an exclamation point on this game, but there's still time, so you just never know that Derwin's going to make one of those crazy highlight plays. Reminds me of that one college clip. I can't remember what it was, but it was from a while back. Here goes Hunter Henry. Not going to give much. We'll show the plays, like I said, even if it, you know, the game's pretty much over. Doesn't matter. Here's Aaron Donald. Misses him. But that's the high motor of Aaron Donald. He gets back up and takes some down. Does a little dance. Second and 20 now. Pretty much the last play of the third quarter. Taking a shot outside. And Trevor misses there. Uh, I don't know who that tight end is, but I really like the build of him. Seems kind of like a beast. He seems like a prime Eifert. I don't even know. Uh, first and 10. Coverage sack, Aaron Donald gets uh, gets all up in that. Joey Bosa really not showing up too much, even though he just hammers him as it's thrown. Jutavis gets a pick. Pretty ironic I mentioned that because Joey just pretty much forced the pick. Third and four now, play action. Looking for the conversion, obviously trying to end this game. Uh, and they're almost picked off. But yeah, we're up by quite a bit of points. It's really not much to worry about. I really thought it was going to be a closer game. Obviously, it was pretty close. It just looked really bad, you know, after the second quarter. After we, we took the 2-3 to three touchdown lead, that's when the game was kind of over. Um, and then we just locked down. Ma mainly, you know, the issue, we just locked down. It's not even about the offense at this point. 
But there's still obviously a lot of playoff football left. We at least have the championship game to look forward to. So if we win that game, we're on to the Super Bowl for a back-to-back -back season. However, it's easier said than done. Oh, look at this. Desmond King, who's been locked down all game, gets torched. He gets thrown down, basically. Uh, thrown out of position. But that's obviously going to be the end. 38-16, to I believe, is the score. Headed on to play the Bengals, who don't have the greatest of rosters. Maybe an 86 overall, 85. Maybe a 90. I don't know. So definitely under a 90 overall, though. And obviously, with our insane record, 17-0, we are at home for the entirety of the playoffs. Obviously, if we win, we play in the Super Bowl. So it's kind of irrelevant to say. So we'll at least have one more game to look forward to. I know it kind of sounds like I'm, I'm already writing it off that we lost, but... I'm just saying, we have at least one more game. Andrew Luck threw four picks. Doesn't really describe the actual tail of the game. Uh, Dallas Goddard. All right, and that's who that is. I feel like Lockett almost had 200 yards, but clearly that's not the case. Aaron Donald with two sacks. How many picks do we have? Moses had two. Great defensive performance. That's really all I can say. Very proud of those guys. Pretty much locking down. We'll see how it goes next week. And, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me at Twitter at Jerome P. Care. Most importantly, hope you come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!